Hey Trouties, it's Sierra here with Manic Trout, and it is Friday. Friday is going to be the official video day. I think that's kind of exciting. We'll plan on that. Not a specific time, but a specific day. So, pardon the gloominess. It's raining here in Austin today. It doesn't really rain all that often, so that's okay. We're good with that. Today, I thought it would be fun to give a quick tour of the studio, and then uh, so many of you commented on how you enjoyed watching me try the necklaces. You can get a feel of them. Then I'm going to do a little bit of that with some of the animal necklaces that I know are popular from your likes on Facebook. So hold on one second while I turn the camera around. All right. We're kind of in the back corner of the studio right now. So I'm back. If you've seen pictures of it, I'm back um, with my back against the bookshelves. This is, you know, so I'm a pretty organized person naturally and a lot of people comment on that. So I decided today, <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, the studio is a mess. I know it's not really a mess for most people, but it is for me. So today I decided to just leave it the way that it is so you can see exactly how I work. As organized as I am, I really like piles. I like piles on my desk. I like piles of bowls. I like piles. So this is kind of where I would sit at the desk to be on the computer for doing manic trout work, bulletin boards, which I'm getting ready to start a collection. So I'm starting to accumulate things on there. Orders hang on that wall. Uh, over here is the packing station, some notes. This is the closet, which is really the size of a small room. It is the jewelry room. This is chaotic. You're seeing a mess. This is embarrassing. Can't even believe I'm showing this right now, but this is what the storage for the created jewelry is in there organized in the boxes. And then, excuse the moving, I'm gonna put this steady in a second because I'm making everybody, including myself, the bookshelves that you have seen from the back part of the room. And this is where I'm gonna come over with the video camera. Circle back around, that's where my dogs sit when they're in here. Great, full circle. So this is the main area where I make the jewelry and run Manic Trout. I've tried many things over the years. I've realized that for me, I work very weird hours. So I really, it was important that I have the studio in my home. And when we actually made this our, uh, we bought a house, um, a big part of it was having a studio space. So that was um, all of the, the factors of what I wanted in the studio were a, a lot of why we chose the house that we have now so that I can do that. Uh, uh, I, many of you have actually visited the studio in Austin over the years. I've had a few different ones. Uh, some of them have also visited in New York. You're always welcome if you're in Austin to come by and visit the studio if you make an appointment. Okay, back to me. I know there's a little delay on that sometimes. And I'll stop making everybody dizzy. Okay, so currently I'm wearing the river water necklace. As I like to preface, I, Sierra, the designer, maker, creator of Manic Trout. I'm very short. I'm five foot two. I actually have right here, I brought this so you can see. This is the mannequin that I use on the website, okay? So look at the mannequin next to me. The mannequin, it's on a stool. It's not really this tall. But the mannequin is kind of, I think the mannequin is wider than I am and bigger than I am. So the mannequin gives much more of a realistic size for like an average size, not a five foot two person. If you are on the short side, I'm of average build, but I'm very short. So I am five foot two. Mannequin would probably be closer to your like five, seven size. Um, and who remembers this necklace? This was one of my favorite necklaces ever. This is a long time ago. I think this necklace, I think I designed that in like 2009 or something. It was great. Vintage, it just started the whole vintage scarf thing that I have in the M collection, but they were scarves that I had cut up. But it's a vintage manic truck design, so we're not gonna talk about that. Pay no attention. So today, I'm gonna try on some necklaces for you. I am going to then put them on the mannequin so you can kind of see for scale which is which. As I said, we're starting with the river water necklace, which has a, um, a chocolate agate stone. I, I, I always agate, agate, I mean, it's like potato, potato. Uh, beautiful, it looks just like you can imagine chocolate syrup would look on vanilla ice cream. Delicious, beautiful. So that is with a trout. And so you can see on scale does not go down as far. Uh, as I've said before, anytime that you'd like a necklace made longer or shorter to get an extension, anything like that, I make the jewelry, I can make the you know changes with no problem. So um, 
they, the animal necklaces usually range from about 19 inches to about 22 and a half, depending. Uh, and I, you know, I started out the video today, I was like, oh, I'll have my hair down, I'll look all nice. And then I was like, yeah, nobody can see any jewelry with all this hair in the way. So um, I will try to give you a little bit of a 3D perspective on myself. And you can see this is the model that I use on manictramp.com. So you can now see it kind of in a more 3D way. I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to help you out. It's so hard to not be able to try on jewelry. So we're going to go with the pink frost necklace. This one came out and it has a cat and it, it came out to great fanfare because of this. I don't know if it's more the cat you can tell me. Is it more the cat or is it because these spun myself these uh <laughs> look at how good they look they're so big the uh rose quartz gemstones are just magnificent so with the cut of these they're really unique each one is a little bit different so each necklace would be a little bit different um it's i love the the really big gemstones because they create kind of a collar feeling um and i just enjoy how they actually feel on so this is the pink frost necklace on me, five foot two, so there is that one. Um, I love rose quartz. It is one of my favorites, and there are not that many pink gemstones, so I enjoy that because of it as well. I love a good natural color, a, a neutral, but you know, I like pink, yeah, I'll admit that. So, that was on me, and now we see it on the mannequin. So it goes up a little bit higher, does not quite come down. Let me see if we can see. That. I, I kind of let me know if you like this way like do we like how I'm showing this I feel like it's a little it was loud, a little more effective all right this one I'm showing today because this one has quite a fun story and sometimes you know if you can't talk well about your jewelry you can't expect anybody else to this necklace was worn by Penelope Garcia not this exact necklace but this style on criminal minds very exciting She's always been kind of a dream of mine to wear jewelry because I love that woman's style. And it was, it was phenomenal to be able to see different jewelry on her on the show. I loved it. But if you saw it on her, you'll notice, I think it was like up here because I think she is much taller. Uh, what is it, cute Chris, Kristen? Ooh, bad with the name. Uh, so on me, it does hang down a little bit lower, uh, which, I, I mean, I wear the low V-neck, so that works well. But again, you can always have just request in the comments, send me an email, and I can make them shorter or longer. But the fun thing, I'll come in here. Am I still going live? This is weird. This piece I actually posted today on the Facebook page. Today is uh, Friday, March 24th. And this is the I'm spotty internet. I apologize. All right. So the come a little, excuse that, that was my Fitbit that just showed. The come a little closer necklace is really, I tried to make it a little bit longer because that, I think this one is 21 and a half inches. Um, it has Amazonite. It has a starfish. It is delicate and beautiful. I love Amazonite. It is like a creamy blue, ranging to like an aqua blue. It is just such a beautiful stone so you can see it up close. And I love the starfish. I really like coastal. Obviously, we have an octopus on this one, coastal jewelry. And that you can see on the mannequin. Great for a little bit taller. And this one goes really well over like the brightly colored tunics that look. I know that's a popular for a lot of you treddies. Oh, I really apologize. We just switched internet providers and we still have such an issue on rainy days. All right. This is the Between Waves necklace. So this is so the texture and colors of sodalite. Um, it goes from navy blue to white. It has a lot of striations in it with a shark. For many years, I had requests for sharks, and I, um, not everybody loves sharks, but sharks are beautiful creatures, you know? So I, it was like years ago, somebody asked for a hippopotamus, and it was, I think, on Facebook or something, and then all these people were like, no, they're horrible animals. I'm like, well, do we just do the nice animals? Some animals are portrayed much nicer in our imaginations for example, bears, then they may be out in the wild. So I go with kind of, they're pretty animals. <laughs> I don't care that they're nice. Um, shark, between waves, almost feels a little Wilma Flintstone-ish, that kind of shape. Um, I like the big tumbled squares. <laughs> I love Wilma's jewelry, really. Uh, the Flintstones, those ladies, the between waves necklace. And we'll switch them on this. 
I will now go with the Picture Me necklace, which is the Sky Jasper and the... And this is another longer one. It has flat circles, and it is... So bad. Uh, it, it, this is a... I think we have two channels, and I almost want to switch it, but I think it's too late now. So, this is the Picture Me necklace. Another... Maybe if I... Put this over here more, that will be better. All right, so I will then switch this out of the model. And there you go. So this was just a quick Friday video to say hello, to show you some of the studio, to show you some more of the jewelry on, and to give you a glimpse live of Manic Trout, Sierra, that's me, in the studio. Thank you so much for joining. Please visit ManicTrout.com. Follow along on the Manic Trout Facebook page. And I will see you next Friday.